Success is predictable. So you can literally plan success. I am a successful today in my life, globally impacting millions of people because I made a decision as a teenager as to what I want to be and do. And it's the same reason why people fail. Success is predictable and success is it's predictable because life is designed for your success but failure is also predictable because failure is the same result as success let me explain what I mean God designed everything he created to be successful you will never see a bird who cannot fly naturally you'll never see a fish who cannot swim naturally every seed if you put it in the ground and give it water you don't need to pray it is designed to bring forth a tree everything God created has built into it its own success and if the plant is here today and gone tomorrow how much more important are you to God the average human being does not know why they're on planet earth they wake up every morning go into a job they hate working with people they don't like getting paid less than they're worth and dying too young from frustration because they don't know why they exist without a purpose life has no meaning it has no sense of destiny no sense of precision the average human on earth have no idea about their ability 90 percent of the human population will die and never achieve more than 10 percent of their true ability and this is the frustration of all humans Every human wants to be successful. I have never met any human who said, I plan to fail tomorrow. No human wants to fail. Am I right? Everybody wants to succeed. But I have some good news for you. Write this down. Success is predictable. What is my destination? Everyone wants to know, what is my future? Where am I going in the next 20 years, 40 years? What will I be when I am 75 or 82? What is my destiny? The greatest tragedy in life is life without a purpose. Nothing is worse than being alive and not knowing why. Breathing oxygen and eating food and getting energy and don't know why you have it. To live for 80 years and still didn't know why you were here. That's a tragedy. Your success is important to God. God needs you to succeed. When I discovered this, I became very bold. I put pressure on God. I discovered this when I was 17 years old. I discovered that God needed me to succeed. Because success is built in to creation by every manufacturer. Success is important to every manufacturer. Who makes the product so the success of the product is necessary to protect the reputation of the company so the worst thing that can happen to a manufacturer is when his product fails his entire reputation and company can be destroyed so success is necessary for the manufacturer you are a product and the first thing the manufacturer placed on you is his image the manufacturer says let us make a product in our image oh come on if you got the image lift your hands and shout hallelujah the first thing he put on you is the most important thing to him his image you are just like the manufacturer that means your failure is bad for God. I have come with good news. You cannot fail anymore. God has to guarantee your success not to protect you. God has to make sure that the vision he gives you succeeds because his reputation is on the line so when you read the Bible all through the Bible God would say these to his people he would say 
even though you are stiff-necked you complain he said I will prosper you and I will restore you and I will heal you and I will redeem you listen for my name come on clap them hands and scream hallelujah no matter where you are right now in your life I promise you I guarantee you that you are coming out of your situation not for your name's sake but for his name's sake clap your hands and thank God he's the manufacturer you cannot fail in your business and this is why if he told you to go to university don't worry about tuition if he told you to build a business you have the ability if he told you to build a church you have the ability if he told you to go into politics you have the ability if he told you to be a lawyer you have the ability if he told you to be a teacher you have the ability if he told you to build a school you have the ability whatever he told you he will do it for his name somebody scream hallelujah Oh, oh Lord that's why it's important to announce what God told you when you make it public you put pressure on it oh come on young man you got to talk about your vision you got to talk about your dream and tell everybody God told me this God told me this God told me this and he has to protect his reputation clap your hands and scream hallelujah so stop being afraid to believe your dream this ain't your dream it's his dream your success is good for God so he has to make sure you succeed that's why I am so bold you know when you discover who you are you make announcements you can't pay for stop waiting for money before you make announcements when he tells you tell everybody when you tell him it puts pressure on him that's why I have no doubt in the next 10 years everything you told your friends that they laughed at will come to pass so the secret to your success is built in God created birds to fly so if birds don't fly his name is in trouble God created fish to swim so if fish can't swim his reputation is in trouble God created seeds to bring forth trees so if a seed doesn't bring forth a tree God's reputation is in trouble so God is very wise he built into everything laws to guarantee its success the car that you bought was made by a manufacturer the manufacturer built into the car the laws for function you don't need to pray about what to put in your gasoline tank it's a law the manufacturer says you shall use unleaded gasoline only he didn't ask your permission he built the law into the car and when it comes to you it comes with the laws built in now if you decide you like orange juice and you're gonna put orange juice in your car because you like orange juice then the car malfunctions you submit to the laws of the manufacturer and it guarantees success for example the manufacturer says when you buy an iron it says do not operate the water they don't tell you why God designed the fish to be in water that's a law fish will never leave water 
They are smarter than humans. Birds were designed to fly in the air. They will never try to become fish. If you put a seed on the ground on a tiled floor in the lobby and leave it there for 50 years, it will remain a seed. Why? You disobeyed the law of the seed. It needs soil and moisture. Success, write this down, is a result of decisions. Whatever you are right now, you decided to become. Don't you blame anyone for your predicament right now. Success is the result of decisions. Failure in life is the result of decisions. Whatever you decide determines your destiny. In other words, everyone becomes what they decide to be. If you don't know where you're going, you'll do anything with your life. Purpose brings discipline. A true friend is one who can help you get to your destiny. I'm going to say it again. A true friend is anyone who will help you get to your destiny. So if anyone wants you to do anything that stops you from your destiny, that's not a friend, that's an enemy. Decisions determine success. God wants you to succeed. He gave you birth to succeed. He wants you to succeed more than you want to succeed for his namesake. And God is faithful to the vision he put in your life. He is faithful to it because he needs you to succeed for his reputation. Your future is God's past. God's plan for your life is already finished. God never begins until he's finished. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God says, I know the plans I have for you already. Plans to what? Prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I know your plans already. God already finished you before he started you. In the book of Isaiah, when I read this, it changed my life. God says, remember this. Put it in your mind and don't forget it. Now, three of those sentences mean the same thing. Whenever God says something three times, it's the most important thing. It's the same word as verily. He says, remember this. Fix it in your mind. Do not forget it. Same words. What is so important? God says, remember this. I am God and there's none like me. He said, now don't forget that. I am God and there's none like me. Second, I am God and I always said the end before the beginning. He says, I am God. There's none like me. And I always said the end before the beginning. Next verse. And I make known from ancient times what is yet to come. I say, my purpose will stand. There's no God like me. For I said the end before the beginning. That means I finish before I start. I complete before I commence anything. Oh, stay with me. I'm getting ready to shout all by myself. God says, you see, whenever you see me start something, that is evidence that it's finished. God would not allow you to have been conceived in your mother's womb unless there was something already finished that you were born to start. That means you are not a mistake. You are a destined baby already finished. So your success is already finished. Then God says, I set your end before I begin you. And then at the beginning, he says, I make known at the beginning your end. That's why as a child, you were dreaming all the time. That was your destiny screaming at you. This is why 
you got big dreams those dreams are real don't ever judge your destiny by the location of your birth stop feeling bad about yourself stand up straight square your shoulders go to work tomorrow walking like you are a winner dress like a winner talk like a winner and tell everybody I am here because I am hallelujah